Hi, my name is Chris Elliott. Hello, Yad Ed. My name is Antonisha Parker. Hi, I'm Taylor Shadron. Hello, I'm Nicholas Tanner. And the four of us here are Public Allies Arizona members. As an ally, we get the wonderful opportunity to collaborate with a nonprofit organization here in Arizona. The organization that our group has decided to collaborate with is the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center, a museum that is dedicated to preserving the histories of African American culture here in Arizona. We have been honored and tasked with interviewing four alumni from the museum, um, which was once actually a segregated high school in an attempt to help preserve the oral history of these alumni. Specifically, we have been focusing the lens on the women who went here at the school. We are so honored and thrilled to be able to help share these stories and help preserve the culture and history here at the museum in hopes that we can share this with uh, the people in the Arizona so they can also uh, learn about the rich history and culture here at the museum and what they have to offer. Greetings, my name is Matthew Whitaker and I'm the executive director of the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center. We began as the Phoenix Colored School, segregated school, in 1926 at 415 East Grant Street in Phoenix, Arizona. The Phoenix Colored School, as it was called, changed its name in 1943 to the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center in honor of the late, great George Washington Carver, the scientist and uh, legendary figure in African-American history. Carver sat dormant for um, decades, and then the building itself was purchased by former alums of Carver and turn, turned into a museum and cultural center, and this was in 1996. They're keeping the mission alive, serving the community, focusing on education, black culture and community, bringing people together and focusing on civic unity and leveraging education for institutional growth. We partnered with Public Allies for this particular project to keep that story alive by using the words of the elders themselves to educate and inform a way forward. Interviewing the alumni has been a breathtaking experience. These memories will last with us for a lifetime. It's truly an honor to interview them and help share their stories. They're impactful, humble, honest, and holds integrity that I think we can all learn from. These stories help show the past, although uncomfortable, it's very important not to repeat our mistakes. Well, I enjoyed the school. I enjoyed most of the teachers. My favorite teacher at that time was Mrs. Hackett, which was an English teacher, and Mr. Joseph Flipper was my math teacher, which this was his room here. Working with the GWC has been a life-changing experience. As someone who's new here to Arizona, being able to connect with the black culture here and the rich history that the museum offers has been an honor. One of the biggest takeaways for me has been able to reconnect and hear the stories from the alumni, as I think the, there's a lot of importance in that cross-generational collaboration. These pictures tell the story of what actually went on from Carver. Oh. Fred Warren said, history is from the perspective of the people who wrote it. And that is why our work is so important here at GWC, as well as being a public ally member. We are focused on recording the experiences and the memories of the four alumni that went to the Phoenix Union Colored High School. We have dedicated time to making sure that their stories are being heard and shared with the community because it is such a vital, important step to preserve the history of Phoenix, Arizona. You all have to be careful. Don't, don't give old people a mic. They, <laughs> they might impart too much wisdom. Yeah, so get wound up. Well, you know, we, we stay closed in a lot and with COVID, uh, it's so like we've been put away or something, so be careful what you ask for. You might get more. As an Arizona native, I have an immense love for all the communities in Arizona. So getting to be a part of the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center project has taught me so much more than I could have ever imagined. The interview that I got to conduct really drove home the fact that we need to treat each other the way that we want to be treated. 
love our neighbors regardless of differences and just get back to the good old community building that we need to get to. And then how did your family get to Arizona? We came by car. What was the motivating factor to make the move? They just wanted to get out of Texas. We were on our way to uh, California. But the car broke down in Arizona, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just what it's 